Last week felt like a major detour, didn't it? However, it's not a detour. Instead, it's actually the destination. You may be feeling a little overwhelmed this week, so take a deep breath and relax. We'll move back into a more comfortable place again this week. And chapters 4 and 5 in the Anthony and Benson text will guide us through a more familiar historical periods, the early church and the Middle Ages. Philosophy and education become much more church-centric in these periods. During the period you will read about this week, the church is increasingly responsible for affecting worldviews and introducing new educational efforts. We also see the purpose of education shift from preparing persons for contribution to society to preparing individuals for contribution to God's kingdom. In the Greek and Roman period, you were introduced to two traditional philosophies, idealism and realism. In this week's reading, you'll be introduced to a third traditional philosophy, neo-scholasticism. Be on the alert to find what distinguishes neo-scholasticism from the other traditional philosophies. Again, you will have some penetrating questions awaiting your thoughtful response after you have finished reading and reviewing the PowerPoints. Thank you.